Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, probably three people here know me. I'm from Holy Well Ports and Maple Ridge. And since this came to, I'm not sure my voice is up here tonight. <laughs> <coughs> this invitation for me to come here tonight came as uh, honoring our Port Laureate, Emerita. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I kind of badgered our Laureate, uh, Emerita, and she has graciously written some beautiful words for, for the back of my upcoming book, uh, Chasing a Butterfly which is in the proofreading stage right now, so I'm going to do it to you again. <laughs> <laughs> this is called To My Laureate. So giving of soul is our laureate poet. She gives up, a, she gives up, don't buy your lips at the, at the dime store. <laughs> I'll start again. So. so giving of soul is our laureate poet. She gives us our, her talents and gives of her time. Her heart is too big for her body. Her gifts are our treasures, and oh, how we love it. We follow examples of rhythm and rhyme. Her heart is too big for her body. <laughs> like a colossus astride, world set apart, her voice rings out true as a clarion call across the land, an appeal to all poets. Her body of work stands alone, like her heart, to live over time in the laureate's hall. Besides, she writes excellent poems. Yet humility marks her demeanor and soul. She wins the poetry goddess's bowl. Thank you, Candace. Oh, wow. 